This is Dabu7 with an update on Comet Ison. We have NBC and Space.com both coming out and making statements that a lot of big time astronomers are perplexed about this comet. As you can see here, we are at the sky live. This will give you a lock on where to find Comet Ison in real time with your telescope. Now, as I was stating, we're at NBC's site right here. They're saying that a lot of their top astronomers that they have communications with are saying that this thing is, is picking up brightness and speed, slowing down, dimming down, and that right now, uh, after just last week, it was looking promising. It is 3.3 times fainter than what it should be. Now, <clears throat> they've come out and stated that it's giving off gas production, but not dust production, and that it is acting very weird. Now, John Bortle is just as perplexed, and this guy has been studying comets for years. He says that it's downright weird, that there's a bright, miniature, long-tailed comet situated with a much larger, but very much fainter and diffuse halo of a comet. He says the visual people using uh, large telescopes often remark about is the way that the comet looks. And the small scope winds are seeing a big fuzzy feature. So he says that after several hundred comets that he has watched come in, hundreds, at this stage of the game with the comet about to cross the Earth's orbit, I cannot recall any previous comet in my 50 years of comet observing that looks quite like this so he doesn't know he says it looks odd at the time and another astronomer goes on to say that he don't know what is going on with this comet that it is acting more like a solid body than a typical fluffy comet that is very interesting and one last major detail I want to share with you here is that they stated that this thing has already crossed the Earth's orbit on Wednesday at 6 p.m. That's October 30th at 6 p.m. As you can see by the NASA JPL charts, it does not cross Earth's orbit till right now, today, as I'm speaking. If you go back to the 30th, that means that this comet is three days ahead of schedule. And NASA is refusing to update their charts. So it raises a lot of eyebrows right now when people are asking a lot of questions already. Um, they're saying this cross Wednesday and by NASA's JPL chart, it should not be crossing till today, right now. I'll leave links as always. Make sure you check out the next video that I'm putting out on Comet Ison and the Mayan calendar, as crazy as it seems. The real ending date to where they all lock up is coming up, and it just so happens it correlates with Comet Ison. Eyes to the skies, guys. It's been Dabu7.